and welcome to another episode of Nebula 75. My name is Circuit. After the screening, I will be available for autographs. Please form an orderly line. Just a few more tiny adjustments and there. Here we have it, all fixed. Great, Doc. What was the problem? Oh, nothing serious. Just the tube had blown. I've replaced it now. Does that mean I can have color pictures again? Oh, uh... Forget it, Doc. Next time. Right. Um, well, I I'd better get on with the other ship repairs. Oh, that can wait till the morning now. It's bedtime. Not for me, Commander. I need to work through the night as the ship needs to be at peak efficiency if we're to catch that solar wind. Uh, what solar wind? The solar wind we are approaching. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks, Circuit. Doc? Oh, um, well, the share is right in the vicinity and it could save years off our journey. And how long have you known about this? Um, oh, um, uh, only, uh, maybe two, um, hour, hour, day, day, day. Two weeks. Uh, yes, well, um, two weeks. Well, I must have forgotten to mention it. Anyway, I decided we must catch it. Oh, you decided. Well, um, yes. Pending approval, uh, obviously. Right. I'm off to bed. Doc, you're in charge. Oh, wait, you already are. Okay, well, uh, call me if you decide that you ever need some decision-making. Good night. Aha! Uh -huh. Midnight, the witching hour approaches. And on October 31st, too. Happy Halloween! A child's holiday. Don't let Lieutenant Solstice hear you say that. She has been planning a Halloween party with a specially carved pumpkin to really scare the crew. Fear is illogical. Oh, but fear can be fun, too. Boo! The crew will not be able to perform their duties. Oh, Circuit, you're so serious. We should call you Neptune. Why? Oh, um, uh, no reason. Uh, come on, um, uh, back to work. All work and no play makes Ray a dull boy. Where did you hear that? The crew often say it. Yes, fella, don't repeat that to Commander Neptune. Why? Come along, Circuit. Everybody wake up. Hey, 
circuit? What's the matter? Yeah, it's the middle of the night. You need to switch your microphone on, Commander Neptune. Circuit, what is going on? And why have you woken everyone? I make the decisions around here. Or at least I used to. We have a distress call. Listen. Calling Nebula 75. Calling Nebula 75. Can you help us? Can you see me spüren? The broken universe is bringing. We need your help. Did you all hear that voice? Yeah. Right. To work. Solstice, come and see me in five minutes. Seven five. Okay. Report, Lieutenant. Have you pinpointed the vessel's location? Yeah, but it's very faint. Uh, standing by for action, I see, Lieutenant. I could say the same about you. Uh, yes, well, uh, I was in a hurry. Uh, anyway, what about this freighter? Difficult to say. The readings are very odd. One minute she's there, the next, she's not. Strange. Lieutenant Mercury. Yes, sir? We're gonna take the comet and head over to see what's happening. 7-5, I'll be straight down. Oh, no. Uh, uh, you stay there, Lieutenant. The computer will keep us on course. But I'd feel happier if you were keeping an eye on everything. Yes, sir. Next time, Lieutenant. Oh, and uh, don't panic if we lose contact. The closer we get to the solar winds, the more our communication systems are going to experience interference. Tune to asteroid. Do you read me? Receiving your 7-5. No immediate sign of life. It looks like a ghost ship. Ghosts do not exist. Fire circuit. Well, ghosts or not, it sure does send a shiver down your spine. It is just cold. Circuit, hush! Uh, anyway, Doc. We'll have a scout around and report back in 10. And if you don't? Then maybe the ghosts have gotten us after all. Ghosts do not eat. it! Come and find us if you don't hear anything. But be cautious. 7-5. Circuit may be a skeptic, but I do have a very strange feeling about this place. As if there's a presence. Well, I hope there is. And I hope that it's a physical one. Otherwise, one of us will have to tell Circuit he's wrong. Let's take a look around. With any luck, our friend is still, uh, well, here. Hey, the door is closed. I can't see how to open it. Lieutenant, 
See if you can find another exit. Neptune to Doctor. Do you read me? Well, no use from Commander Neptune, so we'd better be careful. Who knows what lurks on the ship? There are no signs of life on this vessel. Apart from Commander Neptune and Lieutenant Solstice. So if there's nobody here, who called for us? Ah! No answer for once! These corridors seem to go on forever and ever. That is not physically possible. I knew the silence wouldn't last for long. Come on, this way. The commander and the lieutenant are this way. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? today, Circuit. No, I'm not. Go and look down the hallway and see if the Commander and Lieutenant are there. Hilfe! Hilfe! Hallo? Ist jemand da? Bitte helfen Sie uns! to command an Neptune. Is everything 7-5? Gee, I hope everything is okay over there. I hope everything is 7-5 with Lieutenant Mercury. Is 
anybody here? This is Circuit of the Nebula 75. I have received your distress call, Sigma 35. How may I be of assistance? there and we're cutting it real fine for them to make it back in time so we have charts plotting the location of the solar wind a warning that we are doomed a sigma 35 distress code and a nursery rhyme about doomed sailors ghostly gibberish perhaps but whatever the reason behind all of this we must return to the nebula 75 before it intercepts the solar wind agreed on second thought, you all head back and prepare the comet. There's one last thing I want to clear up here. If you're sure. I'll be right behind you. Seven five. Seven five. Pump and Zivzik. distress code circuit picked up. It's long defunct, but it reminded me where I've seen your face before. A story told to me when I was a boy. A story about a brave captain and his crew. Pioneers who set off to the stars in a spaceship empire and never returned home. The solar wind. Save us. I wish that I could. But what happened to you happened a long time ago. But now, thanks to you, the lives of others will be saved. Commander Neptune to Lieutenant Mercury. Divert course away from the solar wind. It'll rip us to pieces. I can't cut through the interference. said it would be a rough ride, but, well, I hope he got his calculations right. Look 
coming. At last. We'll be on our way in no time. Return just in time. Yes, thanks to the ghosts of the Empire, the portents of doom, their coarse notes, a rhyme about doomed sailors. They were trying to warn us all along. I wonder what eternity has in store for them. I'm afraid if the old legends are true, they will continue to try and escape their fate forever. Gee, I wish there was something someone could do to help them find peace. Morning beacon? Already launched and broadcasting, sir. Good. That should put an end to any other unfortunate souls making the same mistake as the Empire. As we almost did. Uh, yes, uh, well, um, we all make mistakes, I suppose. I should have consulted with you first. Don't worry, Doc. I'm happy to let you take the credit for this one. You know, of all the strange things I expected to find in space, I never counted on meeting genuine ghosts. There are no such things as ghosts. And friendly ghosts at that. There are no such things as ghosts. Though perhaps they could have expressed themselves in a less, uh, unnerving manner. I suspect that what we experienced was more translation of the ghosts' own fears and anxieties. I know this might not be the most appropriate thing given the day we've had, but as I went to all the trouble of carving it, what do you think? <laughs> I guess there are some things to scare circuit after all. like a jet.